<laughs> G'day. Let's talk about uh, hiking boots. Do you go hiking in the in the woods or out in the bush here in Australia? You've got a good footwear. Now the weather's cooler at the moment, but we've got to consider the whole year if we're a regular bushwalker. So I'd like to share with you my experiences with with these particular boots. These are Redback Terra combat boots. These are actually the combat boot that's used by the Australian Army or the Australian Defence Forces perhaps we should say nowadays. <clears throat> now these particular boots are made with a fairly light nitrile rubber sole which is quite tough. They get about 4,000 kilometres out of a pair of these. I'm quite heavy if you're a light, lighter walker. Easier on your footwear, you'd get more. <clears throat> and depending on what country you're travelling through to, I walk along bitumen roads a fair bit. They've got quite a good tread on them. This is helpful when you're passing over slippy ground. They're um, strong enough, they've got a, a composite plate through the sole. For uh, soldiers, of course, this is a protection against mines and so on. And they're hard capped, which is actually rather helpful if you're scrambling over rocks. But the plate and the, the capping in them is made from a composite material, a lightweight polymer. Now the heel is a 4mm buffalo hide. And the uh, other parts of it are made with the kangaroo hide, which is softer and more supple. <clears throat> it's a fully laced boot, as you can see. And they come quite high up the calf and give extremely good ankle support. Now for someone like me, who's actually quite a hefty bloke, that's quite important when you're walking over uneven ground. Now another feature of these boots is these little vent holes. Now you may think that this is a negative thing from the point of view of if you're standing in water you're going to get your feet wet. But for an all year round boot air can come in here through the base of the, the boot and uh, I wear bamboo socks. These are bamboo fibre socks so they're like cotton but they're tougher. They uh, wick moisture because you will perspire on your feet if you're walking you know, rapidly, working hard. And the moisture can wick out. In other words, your feet dry out as you're walking along because of these two little vent holes. <clears throat> now if you do stand in a puddle and get your feet a little bit damp, you find they dry out. Now the reason why the army orders boots like this is because just this little measure here prevents uh, fungus in your feet, you know, which is a problem in the tropics. So they're quite a hardy boot, um, as you can see. They're quite thick on the sole, so you find yourself uh, about an inch or so taller. <laughs> um, when you purchase them, they are made in what they call mono sizes. That means there's 40 different sizes. And what you do is you just put your foot on the ground and you get a house brick or a block of wood or something and you just put it up next to your big toe, just touching your big toe. And another block behind here, just touching your heel. And you measure the distance between there and that's length. And then you do the same for the width of your feet. Put one block here one block here so you get the, the exact length of your foot the exact width and that's the way the army um, does sizes for their footwear they don't do size 8 and 10 and all that sort of stuff um, like for example if you've got feet 275 millimeters long and uh, 100 millimeters wide or something like that that's what you get now what this means is that you can actually order these over the internet 
and as long as you've measured your foot properly you'll get the exact size you get them out of the box they'll be a bit stiff because they're new and uh, but they're breaking very rapidly and uh, they'll fit exactly now at the moment uh, if you happen to be the right size and if they're available you can order these off a chap on the internet just go on the internet and type in uh, Terra combat boots or something like that you know. and they're hundred and ten dollars for a pair I think that includes delivery I'm not sure I can't remember now this is my second pair and I actually have already bought a third pair because the normal retail price for them if you go into one of those hiking shops they're over four hundred and fifty dollars a pair so you get army surplus they're brand new army surplus brand new for 110 off ebay but you, you've got to send the chap a, a message on the ebay system and, and get, have him, you know give him your your actual foot size and if he hasn't got that size in stock because he gets the army surplus then he'll acquire them and so far i've had no problem getting boots for people so that's a, a bargain for a boot that's this strong so terra combat army boots uh, Australian combat boots um, they're exactly what they sound like they're a combat boot there very very tough no matter how much hard use you put these to they'll lap it up <clears throat> so four millimeter buffalo hide kangaroo hide um, uppers other than that these uh, four millimeter sections here if you get snake strike in the bush even a brown snake can't get through this stuff. The tiger snake will be gone. <clears throat> so you've got heel protection up through your ankle. They're padded here. They've got insole protection, toe protection. They're extremely light. You can actually run on these quite easily if you like running. Or well, jog might be a better way of putting it. Because obviously soldiers have to be able to jog as well as walk. So highly recommended. Uh, and I've never had to replace a pair of laces, but uh, um, they're just the right size for a uh, paracord, you know. <laughs> so you can keep with the military theme if you like, you know. So. I always think if it's good enough for the army, I mean, they're people who know about walking, aren't they? I mean, really. <laughs> then it's good enough for me. So. Anyway, I'll get on with my walk. See if I can wear them out a bit more. See ya.